What is going on everybody and welcome to a bonus part for Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's bonus part we are going to be fixing a small little bug as well as removing the, on the gravity gun, the backslash or the forward slash zero that's uh, corresponding with the ammo there. And also if you guys prefer I will also be showing you how to completely remove that ammo section for weapons that don't have any ammo such as the crowbar, gravity gun, and the physics gun. But anyways, let's get started with that small bug. What it is, is whenever we kill ourselves, like so, we get a script error, as you can see in the top left there. And if we go into the console here, we can see that that script error is stating that the git print name is a nil value. And basically that's just saying that git print name is returning a nil value, or there is no git print name. It's not there. So to fix this, what we can do is add a one little if statement. And we want to surround this whole entire section of code with the if statement. So we want to put an if here, opening, closing, parenthesis, then, and then put an end at the bottom here. And then just format this nicely with a quick tab. And now in here, let's go ahead and write some code. What we want to do is we want to check if the client, colon, get active weapon, just the current weapon that they are holding, then opening, closing, parenthesis, colon, is valid and what this will do is it will check if the current weapon they are holding is valid and what I mean by is valid is it's going to check if the weapon is actually there if it's not valid it'll return nil and then this code will not be ran so it'll only be called if the active weapon is not nil so let's go ahead and test this now let's respawn wait a little bit here and then type kill again, and there is no more script error. And we can even confirm this into the or in the console here. And as you can see, no more script error after that command. So there's that. That is all good. So if that was bothering you, now it will no longer bother you. So anyways, let's go ahead and get rid of that forward slash zero. And we just do this in this section of code here. So we want to create a variable up top here called local current weapon and that's just the this, this is just their current weapon the name of their current weapon and set this equal to the client colon get active weapon colon get class and what this get class is going to do is it's going to return the class of the active weapon and this class looks something like this weapon underscore crowbar or weapon underscore fizz gun and so forth. So with that, we will be able to go into this section of code and check if, put an and sign there, we want to check if the current weapon does not equal the weapon underscore fizz cannon. And the fizz cannon is just another name for the gravity gun. And so now what will happen here is if the, or if the weapon is a fizz cannon, it will completely skip this section of code and go and draw this part. So let me show you this. Go into here, pull out the gravity gun, and as you can see that forward slash zero is now gone and the ammo is just set to zero. Now if you want to completely get rid of that uh, zero ammo part for weapons that don't have any primary ammo, we can easily do that by doing this. Let me just get rid of this section here. And we can easily do this by up here. We want to surround this whole portion of code with an if statement. So if, opening, closing, then, and then at the bottom here, we want to put the end. Format this over nicely. And now in here, we want to be checking if the current weapon does not equal the fizz, oh, sorry, weapon underscore fizz gun. And the current weapon does not equal weapon underscore fizz cannon and the current weapon does not equal the weapon underscore crowbar now what will happen here if we go into the game as you can see we have no ammo for the gravity gun no ammo for the crowbar no ammo for the physics gun which is all three of the weapons that we're checking for in that if statement but all the other weapons here do have the ammo amounts so that's just there. You don't need to do that if you don't want to. 
uh, if you like having that ammo zero there, just don't even write down that code. It's just there if you prefer to not have it there. But anyways, that's the three things I wanted to go over today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.